Hi, welcome back. I'm Kate, Kate, Kate the Almost Great, and I'm stripping over my words per usual, apparently, where my life right now. A lot about how important I felt and still feel about how, uh, how important I feel th that my college essay was in getting me into Vanderbilt. I wrote my college essay about achieving and despite difficulties and despite all of the hardships life threw at me. I'm talking more about my health. Now, my health has gotten way, way worse over the past three years than it was when I was in high school. And the issue in high school was my ankle, my left ankle. I had four surgeries on my left ankle from uh, November 2004 to July, June, late June 2009. And I wrote about trying to achieve what my dreams despite being in extreme pain all the time. If you have a dream and you have a goal and you want to make sure and it is you have your heart set on achieving it, you need to do everything you possibly can to achieve it without hurting yourself. You don't need to, you can't push yourself beyond the limits and you can't make it to the point where you are going to mm -hmm. get injured or there's going to be a problem because you're pushing yourself. But if you really, really want something, and this goes out to anyone, if you're not having, if you don't have a health problem, if you really, really, really want something, you need to make it happen. For those of you who are new to me, you might be saying, what on earth is this girl talking about? She doesn't know what she's talking about. I wrote a book when I was in high school. I wrote my first novel when I wrote the first draft of it my senior year of high school and it is now published and I am working on my second one and I have also a book of short stories that's been started and I was hoping to have finished by now but I don't because I have things to be going on um, to focusing on I mean but my goal was to get into Vanderbilt my goal was to make it to the all-state orchestra my goal was to write a book and I kept it in sight. I told myself when I was younger, when I was younger, I used to play this game, this sounds, was going to sound so ridiculous, but when I was younger I used to have this game where I would sit down and I would plan out my life, where I was going to be at what year, where, what time I was going to have books written, by what age my books were going to be turned into movies, when I was going to have get married when I was going to have certain my kid, when kids one, two, and three, when I was going to do all these things, I had it picked out at how old I was going to be. I would sit down, I was bored, and I would plan my life out for 20 years. I'm not kidding. I would plan my life out for 20 years when I was bored for the heck of it. My health, if I had to throw that out the window, and that's okay, because that's a, if I had set my heart on that chart that I drew up when I was 14 years old, I would be disappointed anyways because life doesn't happen the way you plan it. No matter how hard you plan, life does not happen that way. So, I'm sorry I got distracted because the Red Sox are beating the Yankees 4-0 at the end of the third. If you have a goal and it is the most important thing to you, do not let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Do not let anyone or anything get in your way within reason, of course. And this is, of course, assuming that your goal is a good one to have. Um, I think that unless you are probably the best person on the face of the planet, um, world domination is a goal that maybe you need to set aside. Just throwing that out there. But you get what I'm saying. It was my goal to write a novel. I decided to participate in National Novel Writing Month in 2008, and I wrote 30,000 words before I hit writer's block Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving time, and then in probably around February or March, I remember this distinct, distinctly, and this is extremely indicative of me. I was, I went, I had to go to the beach to collect, what was it? It wasn't seaweed, I didn't finish that project. Shell something for my marine biology class in high school. 
and I was on my way. I was I'm leaving the beach and keep in mind I'm I'm from Maine if you're not if you knew I'm from Maine on my way home I decided that I was gonna take the long way home and I was gonna swing by a coffee shop and get um, a coffee drink and then I was gonna go home and read everything that I've written so far and keep writing I got my coffee drink I went home I read everything I remember very distinctly sitting on my bed reading this everything I've written so far I remember the sun going down and realizing that I had been reading for two hours and then I started writing and within two months I had by the by the middle end of May I had finished the first draft of what would become Ariel and that is something no matter I finished the first draft of my novel before I graduated from high school and that was a goal I'd had for a very long time. That is probably the only piece of that extensive 20 year plan that I have stuck by. Whether or not I end up getting a literary agent and signing a publishing deal with a big publishing house, no one can take that away from me. No one can take away the fact that I wrote a novel when I was 17 years old. If you have a goal that means the world to you, and that you want to achieve more than anything else that your heart could desire and is the most important thing to you, find a way to make it happen. I believe in you, unless your goal is world domination. Again, just putting that out there. But I believe in you. So, that is your little dose of Kate for today, this week. Um, follow me on Twitter, check out my blog, katethealmostgreat.com, and the subscribe button, please, rate the video, I am hoping to start making videos once every other week, have a great weekend, have a great life, achieve your dreams, your goals, I love you, I believe in you, you can do it, have a great day, bye!